Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Indai RN, your nurse in charge. Now, I'm excited for this knowledge assessment. Let's do this. Let's answer some questions that were taken from the U world. And while we are answering these questions, we are going to apply our NCLEX nursing strategies. Okay, first question. A self-employed auto mechanic is diagnosed with carbon monoxide poisoning. Admission vital signs are BP 90 over 42, PR 84, RR 24, autosaturation 94 on room air. What is your priority nursing action? So if you can see, the question is asking for prioritization. What is the first thing that you're going to do as a nurse? First, administer 5-MG inhaled albuterol nebulizer treatment to decrease inflammatory bronchoconstriction. Next is administer 100% oxygen using a non-rebreather mask with a flow rate of 15 LPM. Third is administer methylprednisolone to decrease lung inflammation from toxic inhalant. And lastly, titrate oxygen to maintain pulse oximeter saturation greater than 95. Okay, so in this question, what could be the thing that we are going to do? Go back again to the question. It's asking for prioritization. And in that question, it is mentioned that there is already a problem because you can see already the diagnosis of the patient. It's carbon monoxide poisoning, okay? So you have a hint. It's carbon monoxide poisoning. That is your hot topic. And your next hot topic is your prioritization, okay? What could be your priority nursing intervention in treating carbon monoxide poisoning. Okay, what if in this situation, you don't have any idea what carbon monoxide is or what carbon monoxide poisoning does, okay? Let's consider that you don't have any idea and we are going to apply the guessing technique, okay? First, we are going to do eliminate same choices. We are going to eliminate first those same choices so we will be left out with two possible options. First, while we are actually looking for answers or removing some choices, we need to take note those things that are put at the end of our intervention rendering dependent nursing interventions and giving medications could be part of our dependent interventions. So what are those things that are obviously dependent here? These are administering 5-MG inhaled albuterol and administer methylprednisolone. So they are all giving or administering medications, okay? Now, we are left with two opposite options. That is letter B and letter D. But our next strategy here is to go back to the question since we are left with two opposite choices. The question is, what is your priority nursing action in patient with carbon monoxide poisoning, okay? Despite of all those details that we have in the question like the patient's vital signs, we are going to disregard this. And we need only to focus in your prioritization and in your topic, which is carbon monoxide, okay? Now, let's go back. What is carbon monoxide poisoning? The thing that you're left out right now, if you don't have any idea in the question, is to dissect everything that is there in the topic, okay? If we say carbon, that is an element. Monoxide, that is a single atom of oxygen. It's monoxide, okay? Mono means one. Oxide means oxygen, okay? Now, if we say carbon monoxide, they are elements. And what part in the body that we are having elements? It's the bloodstream, right? So we're going to take note here that there will be a replacement of carbon monoxide with oxygenation in our bloodstream. Therefore, there will be a carbon monoxide stronger bond to the hemoglobin, causing hypoxia, okay? This is already a battle of the carbon and oxygen. It's a competition of the elements. So in here, the carbon monoxide displaces actually the oxygen from the hemoglobin, causing hypoxia, which will not be reflecting in the pulse oximeter since the carbon monoxide already binds in our bloodstream, saturation will not be relevant anymore. What's the thing that is relevant here? It's the ABG, okay? It's the ABG. So in order for us to remove the carbon in our bloodstream, so what is the thing that we are going to do? Administer 100% of oxygen using non-rebreather mask, okay? In order for us to flush out the carbon monoxide, we need to administer 100% of oxygen to decrease the level of carbon monoxide in the bloodstream. Okay, got it? 
So in here, in taking examinations, it's not that you need to know everything. The thing here is that you just only need to know the basic and apply your nursing strategies. I'm not sure if you guys all know what carbon monoxide is, but I'm sure that if you are going to apply those nursing strategies in the NCLEX or in any nursing examination, I'm 100% that you're going to get the right answer also. With the implementation of knowledge and the strategy, he will pass the exam, okay? Now, let's proceed to the next question. A client got sick shortly after a snowstorm knocked out electrical power to the house three days ago. The client has been weak and tired and unable to leave the house or go to work. The client reports a continual dull headache, nausea, dizziness, and shortness of breathing. Which question would be the most helpful for the nurse to ask while completing the history? Okay, so in this question, we don't have a clear topic, okay? There is no disease or diagnosis involved in the question. What is there? What are those information that we have here we have the signs and symptoms and then suddenly the question turned into something it's only asking for a question that would be most helpful for the nurse to ask while completing the history okay this question is not actually pertaining to the disease it's pertaining on how are you going to do your assessment okay in here the relevant thing in this question is on the last part which question would be the most helpful for the nurse to ask while completing the history okay so option one, did you get influenza vaccine this year? Two, have you ever experienced seasonal affective disorder in the winter? Three, how have you heated your house and stay warm since the power went out? And lastly, what do you do for a living? Also, I would like to emphasize, the question is asking for completing history. Meaning to say, you are already doing your secondary survey because you are already doing your completion of history. Meaning to say, you need to dig a lot of information here in order for you to give a proper treatment, okay? This is not the primary assessment. It is the secondary assessment already. So we are going to see those questions that can elicit information for our history taking okay now in these options what are those things that we are going to eliminate first we are going to eliminate those questions eliciting yes and no answer only and they are did you get influenza vaccine this year and letter b have you ever experienced seasonal affective disorder in the winter why? What can we elicit here, right? We cannot get any complete information here because it's only answering yes or no. So now we are left with two choices again, okay? We need to get the relevant question that can help us elicit information and that would be letter C. How have you heated your house and stay warm since the power went out? Okay, it's asking how. Why did we choose letter C? Because there is also a connection in the question, okay? If you are left with two options already, always go back to the question. What is the thing in the question that I can use in order for me to get the connection in the options? So in here, how have you heated your house? Let's go back to the question. In the question, there is a snowstorm. So what are we going to do when there is a snowstorm? Of course, we are going to heat the house. We don't want everybody to be having colds, right? And I have a question. Thus, letter D relevant what do you do for a living if you're going to go back with the question it's too far and we cannot elicit maybe we can elicit some information here but we are doing our secondary survey not our third or fourth survey okay it's the secondary we need to have the relevant question that can help us in our assessment letter D would be okay but I will prioritize letter C okay got it so I guess that's all for this video. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you guys need help in the strategies of nursing examinations, I already have a playlist there done. You can check the playlist on this channel. So thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video to your friends. See you on my next video. Bye!